Angry Rhymes, presented by FedEx. Dun 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 dun. dun. Welcome to Angry Runs Judgment Day, folks. This could be the one that ends me, that ends the world. I didn't sleep last night. I might pass out during the segment. We have a loaded field. This is Angry Runs long form. I'm going 10,000 words this week. We have Roger Goodell later on the show. He may have to wait. He just may have to wait. This is a big segment, and I'm looking to my friends in L.A., I need eyes up here, folks. I need all the help, all the assistance, all the insight, all the therapy to get through this one because I don't know how else I'm going to do it. Everybody buckle up, hands and feet inside this segment at all points in time. Let's go. We always start with the Angry Runs street team. Those wearing the official homage t-shirt like I'm wearing for Derrick Henry. That's my man, Charlie. What's up, Charlie? He's got a shirt at that Niners game. Niners win. So do you, Charlie. And a lot of the ladies showing up this week in the shirt. A lot supporting David Montgomery. You should stay tuned this segment. You're going to like it. And I love the last one. This is my girl, Kara. Kara's got the shirt on. I love this. Kara's man bought the shirt for himself, and he bought the wrong size, so he gave it to Kara. And Kara looks great in it. And a very tasteful staircase in the background, Kara. That's what we like here. We also like Derrick Henry. You know last week Derrick Henry won it. It's what he does. He sends the scepter pick from Baltimore. Baltimore is a factory of devastation and scepters. There he is. That is his sixth scepter. Michael Jordan has six trophies. He's got six scepters. Is he in it again this week after that Buffalo game? No room at the end, even for Derrick Henry. Let's get cooking. Our first submission comes from the Atlanta Falcons and a guy we've always had our eye on, Tyler Algier. He's going to take this one. Not Bijan, Algier. And he runs directly oh. into traffic and he bounces off five dudes. It doesn't even make sense. Most guys head for the sideline. He looks for contact. <laughs> he looks for it and he finds it and they're trying to drag him down by his underwear, his shorts or his mozzarella, whatever the hell that is. And you cannot do it. I love Tyler Algier. He's got all the vowels and he's got all the anger. I also like, it's not Bijan. I like the tradition of other guys in the backfield. I like when it was Michael Turner with LaDainian Tomlinson or Darren Sproles with LaDainian Tomlinson or Mike Allstott with work done or sometimes Jalen Warren with Najee Harris. Tyler Algier is that guy. And this segment wasn't even produced by me this week, guys. This segment was produced by the guy who just threw the pass to Tyler Algier. I get this text after the win from Kirk Cousins himself and his brother Kyle Cousins. He just beat the Saints. He's got, let me text in about angry runs. Tyler's third and 10 conversion was all capitals angry today. He has the chance for the NFL honors scepter by the end of the season. First of all, Kirk, chill out on that a little bit. I don't know about angry <laughs> run of the year and honors. I know you got your guys back. I don't know about angry run of the year, but to my friends in LA, here's the advantage of having an Atlanta Falcon in the segment. Do we have that highly dramatic overhead shot that they love there? You bet your ass we do! Run it! Let's go! Oh, it's cinematic as hell! And it looks like some sort of Chris Nolan movie, except there's way more contact. What was that, that movie everyone pretended to like, but no one really understood? Tenet? This is the tenet of Angry Runs. You know you didn't know what the hell was going on in that movie, but you're just saying you like it because it makes you look cool. I know what's going on here. Algier, I told you this segment was big. We're going to run number two. And guys, I'm in love. I had no idea. I thought I knew all the Angry Runners. You want to know who I'm in love with? Darnell Washington. What? Oh, my God. Where did this guy come from? Where has he been my whole life? Watch hmm. him catch this pass and, rah, and then elevate, oh. big man. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm completely in love with him. Oh, my God. Look, loop this thing. Loop it again. <laughs> and loop it again. Do you want to know something that's interesting about Darnell Washington? Oh, he's just 6'7", 265 and elevated. Yeah. It's incredible. He's jumping over a guy named Cross. He's on the cross. It's almost beautifully biblical. Oh, my God. Everyone says, oh, he looks like Jordan. Dude, he's got 60 pounds on Jordan. Unless you're talking about Wizards Jordan. He looks a little bit closer. Darnell Washington. I thought I knew. We know Najee. We know Jalen. I didn't know you were a guy who's going to show up like this. You could win it. And here's the thing. All right, oxygen. 
<laughs> All right, my therapist tells me I have to pace myself in this segment. I'm trying, Mitch. I'm trying. Listen, we were set. We had our whole setup for the week. We got our nice little segment. We got our three nominations. And then there was a football game known as Lions Seahawks that happened. And we had to scrap a whole bunch of guys. So I'm sorry, Cade Otten. I'm sorry, Tucker Craft. But we had this sort of bizarre alien encounter happen. What is Kenneth Walker doing? And how can we all learn how to do it? Because he escapes, he flips, he escapes, he flips. What buttons do you have to mash in the controller to make a player do this? It's R1, L1, select, B, A, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. It's, look at that. He, can, he gets out of this tackle. You know what it reminds me of? I'm like, I've seen this before. Where's my girl Ray Gun from the Olympics? Yeah, that was a move it. that she was doing on the Olympic stage. It is so cool. I have to tell you, I'm a curator of this stuff. I have never seen a broken tackle at any level like this, let alone the professional level. I didn't know it was possible. It's maybe the most fun and broken tackle I've ever seen. This is this is angry funs is what I'm talking about here. What in the name of Rey Mysterio is he doing? I don't have the words for it. Joe and Troy, you guys got anything? There was a flip right here by Kenneth Walker on the body of Anzalone, and he didn't go down. <laughs> There's a lot going on he there. twice. Twice. I mean, that was a pretty good wrestling move that Anzalone puts on him, but you're right. He, he does not go down. Knees don't touch. And then he kind of brings in another WWE move right there. It's, it is WWE, Troy, but it's also just your high school wrestler who runs around in a garbage bag and watches Vision Quest over and over. Two points for a takedown, but also two points for an escape from the referee with two different color wristbands. Kenneth Walker, this was won. This was done. You had it. The scepter is going to Seattle. And then Jared Goff <laughs> threw it to his running back. You know who it is. Bring up the picture. This is a gentleman who's coming for the food on my table because he's trying to ruin my segment. David Montgomery, I thought we were good. I've loved you coming out of college. I loved you in Chicago. You won this thing three weeks ago. You were nominated last week. Now you're nominated again. You're putting together one of the single greatest angry run season, and it's week four. This isn't supposed to happen. Dump it down and collision time. Boom! Come on! How am I not supposed to hype about David Montgomery? Because he's still going. He's still, he's running through my heart and my segment and everybody with Seattle. Unbelievable. Bam! Oh, that's what I get out of bed for. That is football. That is physical. And if you thought that looked good, everybody turn up the volume on your phone, on your TV, and have a listen to how it sounded. No words. Should, <laughs> should, should have sent a poet. Should have sent a poet. I'm okay to go. I'm Jody Foster. I'm speechless. And so is Seattle. David Montgomery, you beautiful bastard. I love you. I love the Detroit Lions. And I love the city of Los Angeles. La Mesa en Ojada, mis amigos y amiga. We got decision to make, dudes. Four submissions, Tyler Algier by way of Kirk and Kyle Cousins, Darno Washington, 6'7", 265, <laughs> Kenneth Walker, who went Rey Mysterio, and David Montgomery, who's taking ownership of this segment. What are we going to do right now? It's Judgment Day. You know, Kyle, I think there was something very symbolic on the Darnell Washington play. Here's this giant six foot seven specimen, and he's stiff arm a guy. And the guy that he stiff arms is named EJ Speed. It's literally strength over speed. It's nice. the guy just uh, pummeling him and saying, speed means nothing in this segment. We're all about strength. <laughs> and yet, I'd be kidding it myself, and I wouldn't be doing myself an honor and a segment honor if I didn't just tell you like it is. David Montgomery wins the award. That mm. was incredible. I'm going Montgomery for my vote. Okay, you can go Montgomery. You know I like to spread the wealth. Uh, Peter, how dare you? I, you? You teed it up for me perfectly. I'm having a memory of Darnell Washington at Georgia telling me that Megatron was his favorite receiver to watch growing up. The fact that he can hurdle a man at 6'7", 265, send it to Pittsburgh again, Kyle. You know you have the mailing address. Okay, I see what you guys are doing I there. It. I do. I love the fact that Kenneth Walker III 
Flair fight, somehow found a way to get out of that thing with a WWE move. Mm. And if you go back to the replay, he got punched in the face at the end of the play <laughs> as well and kept going. But you have to go with David Montgomery. I mean, this dude is absolutely disrespected Devin Witherspoon. Devin Witherspoon looked like somebody threw some water on his face and just kind of woke up in the middle of the night. But he went ahead and took care of business. You got to give the scepter to him. We gave it to Eckler because he hurdled a guy. Give it to Darnell. All right. This is a great, great reason. This is why you guys are my friends. This is why you're my angry friends. Um, Austin Echo, to Jamie's point, didn't hurdle a guy. He knee lifted a guy. Darnell Washington is squarely on the watch list. But this segment really isn't about jumping over people. That's really fun. It's not necessarily angry. He's out. <laughs> Kenneth Walker had this thing sealed up. We had the FedEx. The scepter was in it. We're typing up the Seattle address. And then you hear that glass break. Dum, dum, ba -dum, dum, 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 dum. And Montgomery <laughs> ran out with the Montgomery 316 shirt. Guys. It's going back to Detroit for the second time in one month. David Montgomery is taking over the segment. I love you. I'm afraid of you. It is all coming up. Honolulu blue. That's the bottom line because David bleeping Montgomery said so. That's Angry Runs. Boom. See you next week.